When is it a good idea to travel abroad to meet just one girl? Here's an interesting idea. You see, what I've learned about a lot of men over the years is that you're very chivalrous. You're very noble. You've got this inner King Arthur, right? And you want to prove to this woman, you've got the attitude that I know. In fact, I was just speaking of, of someone who's, who's close to me, who's a friend of mine. And I know he has this exact attitude, which is, I don't need a whole bunch of women. I don't even need two women. I just want one woman. I want to give her all of my attention. I want to just bathe this woman in the light of love and romance and magic. I just want to be appreciated for that. You know, in, in, in our culture, sometimes we can do all of that, but the appreciation isn't there. And that's no fun. But if I'm going to make this great effort, and I want to make this great effort, I just want that to be important to somebody. I want someone to turn to me and say, wow, thank you for doing that. Isn't that the best feeling, guys? When, when your woman looks at you and she says, hey, thank you very much. I can't believe you did that. No man's ever done that for me. I love what you just did, thank you. We love that, we love that feeling very much. And because we're chivalrous, because you've got that inner King Arthur, one of the things that you want to do is show your girl when you've met her, when you're writing to her, when you're in correspondence or chat, you're communicating with this girl, you want to show her that you are for real, that you are that chivalrous guy. And you want to speak to that, you want your actions to show that, so you want to get on a plane and go and meet that one girl and have your love story and not even look at another girl. And that's how the vast majority of you guys are. And that's great. It's very, very chivalrous. The problem is, is it practical? Is it sensible? However altruistic and well-intended it is. So let's talk about that. So let's consider the pros of doing that. Let's consider why that might be a good idea. You've been writing to somebody, you're engaged in this great conversation, you're sharing all kinds of thoughts and ideas, some of them very, very deep and very personal. And so far it's green light go. She accepts everything you're saying, she's interesting, she's responding, and you are developing this attachment to her persona. So why would it be a good idea to get on a plane and go and just meet that one girl? You know what? Doggone it. I'm ready. I'm getting on a plane. I'm buying a ticket. I'm getting a hotel. We're going to meet just you and me, baby. Man, we'll go out to dinner. We'll do whatever you want to do. We're going to take this another step and another step. We're going to fall in love because clearly you are the woman that I've been looking for. Well, again, the women are going to perceive that as very chivalrous, right? Women want to know that you looked up in the sky one day and the clouds said Olga and you didn't know what that meant. And then you went on a website and you found Olga. It was it was fate, it was predetermined by the cosmos that you were going to find each other. So you wrote to her and got on a plane and went and you met her and you courted her and you fell in love and got married because you followed your destiny. Women want a fairy tale, which quite frankly, a lot of men want one too. Fairy tales are great, they're, they're, they're fun. It's very chivalrous and romantic to get on the plane and go and meet one girl. You also fulfill the role of a real man. We were talking about, I want a real man, a man who knows what he's doing, not a guy who's kicking tires, a guy who will do what he says he will do and not just say a whole bunch of stuff he's not gonna back up, right? We want the real man, a man who courts properly, a man who isn't cheap, a man who understands that the weight of the world is sometimes on a single woman's shoulders, who can take that weight and share it, say, give it to me, I'll carry this weight for you, I just want you to relax and be a happy girl in the world and I want to watch that happen before my eyes. So I'm here to be your strong wall to lean on. You Fill the role of a real man when you get on the plane and you go and you meet that one girl. You create a great love story, let's face it. If you get on the plane and you go and you meet one woman that you found somehow, fate showed you the path to this woman with whom you developed this great online correspondence with. You went, you met her, and your chemistry took off. You were truly attracted to each other. Before you knew it, you fell in love, you got married. Her family's gonna love that idea. She's gonna love, I mean, who wouldn't? It's a great love story. And all of those are great reasons to get on a plane and go and meet one woman and give your heart and fall in love. Join men from all over the world as they take a trip and find their future brides. Check out our website at Bangkok-Women.com.